It's like, uh, I don't think I should look, uh, because I really want to figure out how good this deck is, and yeah, this, this was a game pretty carried by York, right, with the Leon Handsome face. Um, so we can coin the Tuscar, or coin the Totem Golem, we have Tuscar on 3. I don't think I keep faces, even it's good to follow it up with. I think it's a little bit too much to keep. Try Druid Portal tomorrow. We're gonna try some uh, Druid Portal. I really wanna try the deck out. We will give it a try. We will give it a try. Yeah. Hello. The ice. Thanks for being so consistent with your streams. No problem, man. No problem. Thank you, Beatbox, for two bucks. Yeah, I think it's really awesome, guys. That. And it's not also also for you mainly, but also a little bit for me. Every day we start the stream at 10 a.m. And then every day you be there. You have like such a consistent schedule. I really need it. Like having that, that kind of schedule. That you um, like have a plan towards the day. So happy you like it, Beatbox. But indeed, every day, 10 a.m., you know where you can find me. I'm not that good at this card yet, guys. Gotta improve a little. Babbling book. Can't ping here, but it's not too cheap. So with spirit claws, I over or with feral spirits, I overload myself here. Yeah, we still do that. I mean, I have to do member, so I really want to get this out now. I really want to get this out before I go into the Doom Hammer. And this is why you really have to cut a Doom Hammer out of your standard Shaman list. Now if you want to play with the Spirit Claws, you are stuck with too much weapons otherwise. Now we are playing 3 weapons instead of 2 Doom Hammers. Hmm. I don't want to overload myself here, right? Next turn as a Drake, 1 mana spell. Ah, maybe it's good. I wonder. I think Gliding Bolt is fine here. Yeah. I think it, we can just find. In two turns, we go do a Yeah, so I have to attack here. Most likely, in two turns, we go do a at least. Yeah, you want to get the three deck here in, I think. There are reasons we got Doom Hammer next to it. It really depends on what he does here, though. Like, now I can also still drop the 7-7. Seven, seven. This deck is not easy to play. It actually isn't. I, I still have like a lot of decisions where I'm not sure about when I have to do something. Like the deck reach is not that big now, with cutting the damage a little. There is like the draw is different you now, with the Ezra Drake, where you draw with your own deck instead of like a Finley that sometimes gives you that additional hero power, but I really consider it being super nice. What to do? Did you hear Crip what quit Hearthstone for good? Did he? Did he really? I don't know if I believe, have to believe you guys. And now I'm not having the lightning bolt, guys. See? I feel I make so much mistakes with this deck. You guys blame it on the aggro deck, but I think that I really don't play this deck correctly. Something like Horse Rider could also do the job here, right? Hmm. What to do? Could have like rocked by that last turn, but that doesn't really make too much sense. Take 
take a walk on the wild side. Feel the power of the wings. Oh, Jesus, guys. Just free. Going for the face here. I, I needed it last turn so badly. So we do this on Medivh. Forest to hit face. Okay. 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 What does this do? I can't attack, can't attack. And so he has to inspire to make the attack with that card. Ooh, the game is maybe. Maybe there are little loud scars. Oh, yeah, I can change the title, sure. It's not a problem. Come on! <laughs> can be a barrier, I would say, so let's see. I mean, I rolled totem anyway, but... <laughs> he double five off frostbolt my face. So he needs double ice lands, frostbolt. He needs one frostbolt or double ice lands, that's what he needs. Who knows what secrets will uncover? Reno? I played double doomsday, I played no world novice engineer. That was lethal. Ah the bastard. He couldn't do that last turn. He played... Oh, no, no, he didn't have the Novus Engineer. He only played other draw stuff. Hmm. <laughs> troll versus Troll. Uh, Totem Golem is good, but we need a 1-drop before. We need a 1-drop before. Okay, this is okay. We have the Totem Golem into a possible hero power or Flame Tongue into 7-7. Seven, seven. Not too bad. Yeah, it's pretty important to sometimes start with this weapon, right? I didn't have that opener start there yet, but it's really strong. Because you just set up your weapon and you trade whenever you want. It's not that um, you're forced to do it in the first three turns. You can always just keep it there. It makes also the Totem Golem trade this way possible. It's true. Hmm. This is a hand we will go early Doom Hammer with. I have to rock out of here most likely. Cannot rock out of here. So if I drop 7-7 seven, seven here. There are reasons that I to go Flame Totem. I, I like the Flame Totem way more. Because I give myself the board and I make the Doom Hammer still possible next turn. Where if I don't do this, I rely on him not having a, a good stuff against 7-7, seven, seven, but even a simply lightning bolt or lava burst will hurt me quite some there. There's no direct trade from him here. What do you think? Shall I have dropped the 7-7 seven, seven there, or do you like the play I made here? Because I'm not super salt. Yeah. 
Yıldızım. Yeah, our favorite Malkasar streamer online. Do we have to try some Malkasar 2 today? I guess we have to once, right? Um, so I have the Lava Burst. I have the Surgeant. Yeah, we Lava Burst here. I like this here in the middle because it trades as a 4 run where then I directly get the spell power after. I like this because it's a taunt there, but I like this one because it is like the dominion that I will prefer to trade into whatever he plays. So if I have this one on the flame tongue totem side, I can trade it in and I create myself the spot for this one. 5-7 damage is what we have. Ah, you don't attack here. No way we trade this. Let him make a trade here. So he didn't, at the end, he didn't get that much value from a spirit clause. I still think it's good though. But he had like played it from turn one and never had like the option to get that. He missed the spell power twice in a 25% roll. But I mean, it's only 25, so yeah. And. Huh. Ties love the stream. Why is Spirit Claw better than Light Justice? Just because it fits Shaman, uh, couples with Rock Pile and Spell Power. But mainly because it couples with the Spell Power. Like, it, if out of nowhere, if you have like a Spell Power card, this card can become like a Warrex. And Shaman also has a Hero Power where you can high roll into the Spell Power. So I think that makes it really, really good. That's GG. Guys, we are doing it! Yo! Uh, for me, it's really important to get some practice in with the deck, guys, because it's a deck that um, I'm not sure if it's like I don't think it's like on a power level of like Borea maybe, but I think it's super strong. And with um, Blizzcon in mind, I really have to also start really focusing on specific things. I can always dodge a shaman, but I really have to get like some practice in with the shaman um, because I don't feel even comfortable playing shaman at this moment.